This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas video. I'm joined today by GG Fizz and we are going to test the best sail configuration for the fastest schooner. Let's get to it. So in this first matchup, we have one large speed sail versus two small speed sails with a medium. And you can see that the two smalls and medium gets off to a really quick start. It takes a while for that large speed sail to hit max speed. But once it does, you can see it quickly closes the gap. And then it appears that they're almost equal in speed. But the large speed sail slowly starts to pass the one medium, two smalls. However, if you didn't want to build or learn the large speed sail, the uh, one medium, two smalls would definitely be a good option. However, it's not quite as fast as one large speed sail. Next up, we have two medium speed sails versus one large speed sail. And as you may have guessed, the two mediums gets off to a really quick start. Those small, smaller sails unfurl quicker than the larger ones and just get going right from the gate. But the larger one eventually hits max speed. And as you can see, it's starting to quickly catch up to the two mediums and uh, then it's it's eventually going to pass them. So what we're learning from this is always go for the largest possible speed sail you can fit on your boat. That that's almost always going to be your fastest option. Now, as you can see, I mean, the two mediums holds its own for quite some time, but the large eventually passes it. And there you go, you can see now that it has actually started to gain some ground and if left to go straight and continuous, it would eventually just leave the two mediums in the dust. In this next matchup, we have four small speed sails and one large speed sail. And as you would expect, the four small speed sails just kicks it right from the get-go. I mean, they take off really fast because those sails just hit max speed a lot quicker. But as you can see, they don't hold a candle to one large. So that tells us a lot there. That tells us that for small speed sails is not equal to the percentage of speed that a large speed sail gives you by far. So I don't know what the exact numbers are, but like, this is ridiculous. I mean, look how quickly it catches up and then passes it. It doesn't even hang out beside of it very long. It passes it quickly. So I would say maybe six or seven, maybe actually maybe even eight smalls would equal one large. Now this is where things start to get a little interesting. So we have one large and one small versus one large. It kicks off really fast, much faster than the single large. And look at the speed increase you get from just adding a small speed sail to combined with a large speed sail. Like, look at that. So all we did, the only difference between these two ships is one has a small speed sail on it. Look at the distance that, that is left there. I mean, it's crazy. So these are obviously a percentage. They have to be. For those numbers to be like that, the sales have to affect a percentage number. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's, it's going like crazy fast. And the only difference is a small speed sale. Now, in my last video, a bunch of you wanted to see what happens if you have a weight sail and a bunch of weight on a ship versus the fastest ship with a bunch of weight on the fastest ship. And as you can see, it makes no difference in speed. I mean, I'm sure it slows the speed sail down a little bit, but the speed sail configuration is always going to be faster, even weighed down than any other configuration. Now, if we had a 
speed sail setup that's similar to or exactly the same as the one you're seeing here, the one large and one small. And we had one weighed down and we had one not weighed down. Obviously the one that is not weighed down is going to be faster than the one that's weighed down. But when you talk about using different types of sails, for example, what I'm showing you here with the large weight sail, it doesn't make any difference. Look, I just looped it with a bunch of weight. It's almost uh, three fourths of its, its weight on the ship and it's still able to loop and pass the large speed sail. I mean, look at that speed. It's crazy. Even way down, it's still a much faster option. Now, the biggest difference is you can't catch as much wind with this sail configuration using the speed sails as you can using a handling sail. But as you're going to see in the next test, that really doesn't matter because fastest is always going to be fastest. So in my previous video, many of you requested that you wanted to see the ships sailing against the wind. So that's what you're seeing here. You are seeing one at medium and two small speed sails versus one large. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same situation. They just go 30% of their, their max speed. So if you have the fastest ship, even sailing against the wind, it's going to be faster because it's going 30% of its max speed so that means even sailing parallel to the wind you're still going to be the faster ship because you're already the fastest ship the only situation where this may make a little bit of a difference but i don't think it's going to make that much of a difference is if you had a handling sail and was able to catch a little more of the wind if you're trying to sail parallel to it then you would catch with just a speed sail because the arc for the handling sail is much larger however you can get blueprints for speed sails with larger arcs even then though i don't think it would make too much difference as you see here in this next clip, we have the one that large uh, with one small, which was already deemed the fastest ship versus the one large. And it's pretty much the exact same situation. It's quick off the gate and it just continues with a max amount of speed. I even slow it down a little bit to give Fizz a chance to catch up to me. And then I just speed it back up just to just toy in with him. So even if we were sailing parallel to the wind, my ship would still be way faster than his. So before we wrap up this episode, I just want to give a huge thank you to GG Fizz for helping me test this stuff. If you all want to see more Atlas shenanigans like this, uh, you can hop over there to his Twitch channel. He streams almost daily. I will put a link to it in the description. So be sure to go over there and check that out. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching